So straighten that leg before you start to pull. There you go. So see, we bring them past the 90 degree. And we pull them onto our foot. These are sustained compression. Find a new spot and feel free to just let your head back and just let your receiver receive this compression in their hamstrings. You may need to adjust your where you're sitting as you're moving down the hamstring. Sometimes while you're here, if your client's not wearing a sock, you might get a really nice uh, myofascial pull, which is great, as long as the client's into that kind of stuff. Do you want to just move to my arm? Oh, uh, yeah, I told them yesterday, lotion. Use a towel or a pillowcase, something along those lines, and tell them, no more. Did you do pre-lotion? <laughs> oh, great. You get, you get a chance to figure out what to do. Grip <laughs> Luckily, we've paired you with Ron this morning. So <laughs> yesterday, we were trying to do the lift, and Robert's like, hold him here. And I'm like, his forearms are too big. I can't hold him there. He works out too much. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like asking that question because you knew what you did it's a teaching moment. right so at that point we flip our foot and rotate the leg out if you get here you will experience when your receiver can't like open their leg all the way to the floor in that case in order to let your receiver fully relax we'd use one of our yoga blankets and fit a little bolster in there so that uh, they can relax into the stretch. And depending on the kind of pressure your receiver likes, you can either pull on their foot as you're doing this, or you can tuck their foot into you and just kind of give them a little support there. I make a compression, come out. I make these static compressions one by one until I make my way towards the knee. And I'll do a little kitty making biscuit. Back up the hamstring. Pressure good, Robert? Depending on how their hamstrings are feeling, then I will go on in to a pointed compression with my heel. Move slightly to one spot over towards the knee and continuing that. Slowly moving in, slowly moving out. This heel is very sharp. We don't want to cause any recoil in the muscle from moving too quickly either way.
Gunslinger. Noise. Now you come down. Doing some more rhythmic compressions, going side to side between the two legs. Making sure not to overload the pressure to smush any muscles into the bone. You could even come in and do a double-handed compression, another 